General Singh, if I could come to you now, sir, your perspective on this latest provocation in San Francisco and what, in your view, General, are India's diplomatic and or direct actions, sir? Uh, Shiv Jai Hind. Jai Hind, uh, sir. Thank you for including me in this program. You have raised a very relevant and pertinent issue. It's a very cowardly kind of an attack in the, you know, in the hours, night hours. Yeah. And you're attacking a consulate. A consulate is a place where people from 12 states, I visited that consulate, uh, receive various visa and consular facilities. It covers Silicon Valley and such important areas of USA. And also, you have used an incident incendiary device, a firebomb kind of thing. It's good that uh, U.S. Fire Department uh, responded in time. There are families and other people who are part of consulate. There are a large number of civilians who are present here. And then you do this kind of activity and see these people have no morals or ethics or no values. In Canada, they put out the photograph of our council general, who's a lady, yeah. Apurva Sebastian. The, and earlier, what they have done in Brampton, they had put uh, Mrs. Gandhi at the receiving end. So you have to, this is not what Sikhism teaches us. Uh, we are not supposed to do such cowardly kind of activities. Uh, Indian government has taken some good measures. Uh, they put pressure. But most important thing that I saw is that NIA is going to go to San Francisco because whatever we do, yes. We have to provide evidence for international dossiers to be given to Interpol, to be given to other agencies, to name and shame. You know, there is certain amount of vote bank compulsion also in these countries. Of course, yes. Which, 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 which somehow retards the action which should be taken. Mm. So NIA, when it goes there, puts pressure on these agencies that if you won't do it, we'll certainly do it. It's our concern. And uh, uh, while I don't say that our agencies have done this thing, but people who live by sword should be prepared to perish by sword. Very, very important point that you're making, sir. Manbir Singh Kohli, Australia has also, you know, been no stranger to attacks of, and vandalism of this kind. You've, uh, you know, tracked many of these things happening there. Do you f feel the Indian state can do more, sir? What is your perspective on this? Because it's happening chiefly in these four countries, the US, UK, Australia, and Canada. Yeah. Thank you, Shiv, uh, for uh, including me on this. And Good it's quite a sad discussion, though. But congratulations on your book, Operation Jinn. I've just started reading it. Thank uh, you. But at the outset, it's quite deplorable. And any action that hurts or is a threat to civilians, I think, needs to be condemned at the outset. And, and this is quite disgusting. And what it's doing, like uh, Lieutenant Singh, uh, sorry, Lieutenant General Singh said, that it's bringing a bad name to the Sikhs, who are mm. very hardworking, peace-loving, uh, and great citizens of India. True. So it's dividing our communities. And I think from that standpoint, I, I deplore this action. Uh, any action that sort of is targeting uh, our consulate is uh, bringing a bad name to the Sikh community. Yeah. Uh, and, my, my question always remains, and this has happened in Australia too, we've had cases of vandalism. And unfortunately, the perpetrators, the culprits, have not been identified. I, I wait for the day when they'll be caught and deported if need be. But, I mean, of course, the government of India is putting pressure. We've got mm. great diplomatic resources. And Prime Minister Modi, when he was in Australia, uh, appealed to our Prime Minister Albanese at the highest yes. level to stop these attacks. But what amazes me is that at the local level, why are these culprits not being caught in yes. this day and age when, when there's so much surveillance across the world? Why can't a person who's undertaking that action one or two o'clock in the morning, hmm. why aren't they identified and caught? Yeah, yeah. I think, you, I, th I think you make an excellent and very, very specific point. We're going to leave it there for the moment, but I know for a fact that the Indian government will be watching this show because I get feedback uh, you know, from the security establishment about the things we raise and the people we bring on. Surveillance, 
you know, if you live by the sword, be prepared to die by the sword, which is, I think, one of the most significant things that can be said in the aspect of what has basically taken place at this point of time. Remember that this Saturday is going to be that big march in Toronto by a large number of these Khalistanis against the Indian High Commission. And Canada is helpless to do anything about it. This despite a practical supari being published against Indian officials. That is the state of things in Canada. And I think the word that was mentioned by both General Singh and uh, Manbir Singh Kohli is extremely important. This has nothing to do with the Sikh community. The Sikh community are proud citizens of India and citizens of the countries in which they have chosen to live. And they have nothing to do with this tiny minority of terrorists who owe no allegiance to anything but violence against India. Let that be very, very clear to everyone watching this.